I'm Corbett Wall with USDA Livestock and Grain Market News here with your weekly feeder and stocker cattle market summary for the week ending November the 4th where we had the heaviest nationwide auction receipts on a weekly basis since the third week of January so we're in the full peak of the fall run right now and mostly all calves uh, heavy runs of calves sold unevenly steady to five dollars higher uh, had some spots pretty sharply lower down in the southeast just in spots of states down in there like Kentucky was sharply lower in spots but you also had uh, states down in the southeast there where it was at least that much higher but very uneven down in that country yearlings were not well tested uh, mostly steady in a light test but uh, your calf demand is generally good across the country right now uh, everybody is very optimistic for the future they want to own cattle they know they need to get their hands on them while these receipts are heavy right now because they expect them to uh, start evaporating very quickly as we move on into the winter months and be very very short as we get into next spring so folks are, are wanting calves but uh, the speed at which those cattle are being soaked up or or the trading activity is varying in spots uh, especially due to weather some places this week we did have a kind of a snowstorm move across the, the Midwest there and the southern part of the northern plains as we had uh, big uh, sideways snow kind of blizzard type conditions move from Colorado across the southern part of Nebraska and, and the northern parts of Oklahoma there and it kind of spooked people uh, right off the bat there you know later as we get into winter a little storm like this wouldn't hardly interrupt things at all but did get a lot of calls in the sale barns on Wednesday there as guys were buying calves to go out into that part of the country said don't send us any more calves we don't know how bad this thing's going to get we've got a lot of cattle that are sick our sick pens are full we don't want to get into a wreck here now you know as, as that Wednesday storm moved on through and by Thursday things were cool and crisp and, and wasn't too bad but it, it did interrupt uh, trading on the calves there quite a bit down in the southern plains you know there's some places Texas Panhandle and Oklahoma there where they've had a few little skips of, of some much needed snow there last week and then they had some light rains and they are starting to get maybe a little twinge of green across those wheat pastures and guys can't help it they want to buy those calves they're just they know that they're going to be really hard to find especially those middleweight growing cattle come next spring they don't have a lot of feed they don't have anything to turn them out on as of yet but they want those calves and the calves are available right now and they're going in there and buying them these lightweight calves are really hot uh, of course they've been hot up in the northern plains but it seems like folks backed off of those real light cattle up north and down in the southern parts of the lower Midwest and down the southern plains, those light calves, we're talking three and four weights, really got active this week. Pratt uh, Livestock there had a Monday, special Monday sale this week and had a good run over 4,500 head and had uh, one reputation consignment there that brought us some of our first signs that we were going to have $2 calves a year ago and come in this week the Mule Creek Ranch near Mead Kansas there brought in a big string of their calves 60 days weaned hard little calves right like that they had 102 head of them weigh 431 at $1.99 and 109 head 359 pounds 231.50 or $831 for a little old calf that uh, back in the old days you can consider a roping calf today's cowboys don't want to rope calves that big but we're not talking about a very big calf 359 pounds 831 dollars a head there but uh, you know we're seeing these big ranges on those light calves you know they call those calves 12 dollars higher it's really hard to pin down what the trend is on these light calves because from sale to sale you got 10 15 20 dollars higher or lower on these real light calves but when you get to thinking about it, what's $10 on a $2 a pound calf? It's not a whole lot. You know, it's 5% of their value there, and it's just not its its not that big of a range. You know, back in the olden days, you know, or not even that long ago, but in the 60s or 70s, uh, you know, a $1 or $2 move in a week in feeder cattle or calves would be huge. It seemed like uh, back in those days, if you kind of knew what cattle were bringing on a sex and a class there, 
you wouldn't be that far off from uh, week to week, one side or the other. But the prices are so volatile now, it's just uh, hard for people to keep track of what they're bringing. And just from auction to auction, state to state, town to town, they're just big, big ranges in what feeder cattle are worth. Had a big range in your fed cattle trade this week. Uh, very unusual trade this week. Usually see a one or two, maybe three dollar spread. This week we saw fed cattle trade on a big basis from a dollar nineteen up to a dollar twenty five. Started out there Tuesday morning uh, down in the southern plains. We moved into December as the first month there on the on the live cattle board, and uh, guys were staring at, at offers of a dollar nineteen, and they had a positive basis there, on, and pretty much everybody's hedged up to the gills now. And so they went ahead and started selling those cattle at dollar nineteen, actually realizing more than that for the cattle with the positive basis. But for the second week in a row, as those southern boys started trading, dropping their hedges, it sparked the board. The board went up. We had some other interests come in. Uh, live cattle for December ended up up the limit on Tuesday there, and the northern guys just started trading higher. Started out at dollar twenty-three, moved to dollar twenty-four, ended up at dollar twenty-five, and and made a lot of guys remember. Third week in October 2003, we had a big range of $1.05 to $1.15 when we had that record run up right before the BSE cow came in and stole Christmas right there. But uh, big range right in there and uh, just goes to show you how volatile any of these cattle markets can be right now. Your reasonable weighted average this week up in the north central states, a six weight steer cost you $147.18 compared to $144.92 last week and 113.01 a year ago. South Central states, including Missouri, a six weight steer 143.31 this week, compared to 142.14 last week, and $1.12.18 a year ago. And down in the southeast, some of those bigger runs in those states where it was lower, quite a bit lower on the averages. This week, a six weight steer 123.94. Last week, 127.77, and a year ago, 103.39. That wraps up your feeder and stocker cattle market for this week. Check out our website at marketnews.usda.gov. From the Regional Market News Office in St. Joe, Missouri, talk to you next week.